Children, this is a crisis. I've heard from the Prime Minister on the topic. Worse, Lady Whistledown is talking about it, which means everyone will be talking about it. Mother, I think you are being a bit zealous. Perhaps the grief... No! It is time to find husbands. It is time to trade in the mistresses for respectable wives. Get started. One of you had better produce the next ruler of the United Kingdom, or your father's line dies with him. Make me a royal baby. That was a sneak peek of the new Netflix show, Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story, detailing the origins of one of Bridgerton's most beloved characters. The series will be released on May 4th, but I spoke with the queen herself, Golda Rochevelle, earlier about what else we can expect in the show and how this story contextualizes the broader Bridgerton universe. Here's what she told me. We get a kind of deeper dive into these characters that we know and love in Bridgerton. You know, we see Queen Charlotte at 17 years old. We follow her journey, the love story between her and George. Um, and then that kind of informs what the Queen is going through in Bridgerton. We see the friendships of Charlotte... Danbury and Violet and how that is formed within Queen Charlotte and informs the journey and, you know, to the people that they become, the characters that they become in Bridgerton. So it's a kind of, I describe it as a kind of back, backstage, you know, the, the behind the scenes of Bridgerton. The behind the scenes. It, it just, it feels like it gives us a, a deeper dive into, uh, oh, like, really what formed Queen Charlotte, like how she came to be who she is as we find her in the, in the first Bridgerton series. Um, the young Queen Charlotte is played by an amazing young actress, India Amatifo, and I am interested in what kind of conversations you all had about the character as you were developing, you know, who Queen Charlotte was was. India and I met um, just before she started filming um, in a really beautiful part of England, uh, Didcot Manor. And it was a beautiful sunny day. And we met in the gardens of the manor. And basically, my advice to her was to take the role and make it her own. And I think that's really important um, for Charlotte, because Charlotte is a woman who stands in her own skin. Charlotte is unapologetic. She knows who she is. So nothing I could put onto India would ever inform bet anything better than what India could bring to the part herself. Mm. So she really had the opportunity to inject her own thought into the ethos of Queen Charlotte. Absolutely, 100%. You know, what I, I did not realize uh, that it was not common knowledge that Queen Charlotte was an actual historical figure. Um, someone, as we were, were talking about this uh, amongst ourselves here in the Bureau, folks were like, well, was Queen Charlotte black? And I'm like, she was, actually. Queen Charlotte was black. She's an actual historical figure. But producer Chris Van Dusen has said that the Bridgerton universe deliberately marries history with fantasy. So how closely does this backstory actually line up with the real life Queen Charlotte? I think one of the most beautiful things about this industry and the platforms that we have is that we can we can take parts of history and really kind of mold them and push them and you know, kind of turn them into beautiful fantasy stories that can be accessible to people out there in the world. You know, and having a genre as um, a period drama that hasn't been accessible to a lot of people who look like you and me um, now have that opportunity to really dive into a genre like this because of this little wink to history. You know, Charlotte is not in the books uh, that were originally written by Julia Quinn. And to have her, for Chris and Shonda to be able to put her into the mix really creates a bigger space for these conversations to be had, a bigger space to see people of color as beautiful, sexy, gorgeous, um, vibrant, people who are in love, people who love gossip, people who, you know, all of that kind of stuff. It creates that bigger space for us to be living in.
It's a universal story. Uh, this was uh, an amazing series, uh, it seems to me, to film. I cannot wait to um, tune in. I will be watching. I'm a staunch Bridgerton fan. And it is partly because of what you just described, that I, I when I turned on uh, the television to watch this series from the beginning, it was a series that included people that looked like me, people from all ran like ranges and backgrounds, um, Living in this fantasy world, and that is something we usually, the, the rep, that kind of representation is not something we usually see. Talk to me about your favorite, if you will, moment um, in this series, filming this series. I think what my favorite moment is the relationship, showing the relationship of Charlotte and Brimsley. You know, in Bridgerton, it's a silent relationship in terms of what the audience sees. You know, he doesn't speak.